Wikaisu mama kuku Ogbalo supe Wikaisu mama kuku Ogbalo supe Hello my beautiful subscribers Welcome to J. Kenneth's channel Today we'll be pounding fufu and making ogbalo soup In our pot These are our fufu It's already prepped one of these days i'm going to show you how to make this um, from scratch but at this point it's easier to make from here so i'll be cooking this it's already cooked pre-cooked so i'll be cooking this again putting some water so we'll leave it to cook then in our second pot for our bowl we're putting our mix that's our sorted meat, different meat, beef and all that. Then we'll put in our fish, the smoked mackerel fish, and then we have some um, okuruku topped fish, and then I have some cow skin also, and then I have this deboned boga fish as well. And then I'll be putting in some crayfish as well and then our spices that we have here is the Cameroon pepper the salt and our seasoning cube so it's also going in there then we'll pour in some water a generous amount of water to help it cook properly So we've added enough water into our pots with all the seasoning, spices, whatever protein you want to have in your soup, whatever kind of fish you want to have in your soup, anything, anything, just combine everything together at this point, including your seasoning and your uh, peppers, just combine everything. But mind you, you just need a little crayfish and do not use onion when you're cooking obolo so please do not use onion so we'll be covering this and allow it to cook very very well we want our meat to be very very tender and the spices and everything to cook into it properly then we'll get back to it meanwhile meanwhile this is the obolo I've actually blended this for faster use so I will be pouring in some oil palm oil I'm going to mix this together please when you're adding palm oil to your Obolo, be careful do not let the palm oil be too much when it's too much it actually kills the slimy part of your obolo same with crayfish don't let crayfish to be too much in your obolo it will make your obolo dark your crayfish will make your obolo go so black so you just need a very little amount of crayfish and then also do not use onion for your obolo when you do it will cut the sliming it won't slime at all so this is it we mix it generously and uh, while after mixing this like this all you need to do is either in two ways you can pour it in a pot and melt it in a pot but when it heats too much it also kills the slimy part of it secondly you can put this like my meat is on fire i'll just put this inside the pot but the downside of it is when you're bringing it out this plate tends to be very very hot thirdly you can use a microwave so i'll be using my microwave for this it actually makes it easier for me so i'll use my microwave for this to melt it and when it's ready i'll show you how it looks like you can see i didn't put too much palm oil this is actually enough to give me a good result so 
so you see it's not very free it's not very, very easy for me to mix thoroughly i'll still take it back to the microwave i used um just a minute for this so i'm taking it back for another one minute so it can actually melt thoroughly okay our bolo is thoroughly melted now uh, this time i use 30 seconds because i don't actually want it to overheat you can see how smooth it is when you see white particles in your obolo while melting know that it's not thoroughly melted so this is the best way to melt it make sure everything is smooth without white spots so i'll also show you how other methods are being done but this is my method i use the microwave so you can use your pot to melt but make sure you don't overheat and you can also put this in your meat while your meat is cooking so also make sure you don't overheat it so this is the best way for me okay i'll wait for the meat to cook then we'll proceed our fufu is ready This is the second one. So while I'm waiting for my meat to get ready, I'll be pounding this. Because it's pre-cooked, it's very much easier to make. I'm adding some water to soften it. Done pounding this. So, this is how I make my own fufu at home for myself and my family. Okay, we set this aside. 
and then we continue with our soup so now guys our meat is ready it's time to pour in our obono So we stir this together, continue to stir, but mind you, if you used fresh fish, you need to bring out the fresh fish first before pouring this into it because in the process of stirring, you just have your fresh fish all broken and just pieces in your soup. So we'll just have to keep checking till it's thoroughly cooked you see this obolo here it has so many rules it has so many rules do not add too much crayfish do not use onion do not cover do not use cold water in the process of cooking it if not it will just kill the slimy part you can see too much crayfish will make your obolo black too much oil you will start seeing the oil at the top of your obolo and it will also cut the slimy part of it pouring cold water when you're cooking obolo will also reduce the slimy part of it please do not cover your obolo when you're cooking it it will kill the slimy part and obolo itself this is its main purpose to slime to like to draw so much so when you kill those rules when you don't abide by those rules you just kill the purpose of calling it obolo and lest i forget when at this point do not forget to reduce the heat because your obolo will not get cooked and it will get burnt so reduce the heat so your obolo can cook properly at this point you should see the difference in look for me five minutes to this time i can decide to add any vegetable i want but i am not adding vegetable to this can you see the top you see those i don't know if you're seeing what i'm trying to show you so this tells you that your bolo is ready okay just leave it at a very low C. And also you will see the difference in texture from what it was when you just added your bolo. And now that it is ready. So that will tell you that your bolo is properly cooked. You can decide to add any vegetable of your choice. Either ugu, baby spinach, um, oziza leaves. You can decide to add just anything you want to add at this point and then you're good to go but i'm not adding anything so i'm having it plain like this you see it is ready so i'll be serving this with the fufu i just pounded see it's ready and it tastes very very fantastic guys please subscribe to my channel if this is your first time clicking on our video do not forget to subscribe to our channel please like our video share to your friends and loved ones and don't forget to click on that notification bell in case we post more videos i'll be right back to show you our obolo and fufu combination okay guys now join me let's eat our fufu okay we can soup mama kuku obolo soup we can soup mama kuku 
Agbala Supe. Guys, this is so slimy, man. Oops. Mm. So, this is our Ogbolo soup and fufu. Thank you guys for watching. If this is your first time of watching our video, please subscribe to our channel and do not forget mm, to like our video, share to your friends and your loved ones, and don't forget to click on that notification bell in case you post more videos. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.